On this episode of Back in Shape with T, we're going to still play around with the stability ball. This is a series of exercises that I put together for people like me when you don't quite feel like doing a workout, but you know you need to do some kind of workout. You're trying to get yourself moving. I want to get myself moving, so I want to fulfill my obligation to myself. So I'm using my stability ball and I'll be doing a couple of exercises just to pump the muscle up, to get some blood flow going. I already did 20,000 steps today, so that was good. I, I really took a concerted effort to make a few good walks today. So I'm just staying in that maintenance fitness phase and I want you to do the same. So first things first, I'm gonna grab some light dumbbells and I'm going to do seated curls on the stability ball. Look at my arms, they're about uh, extended only 95% of the way down. They're not 100% locked out. So I'm gonna go up, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, up, up, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Good, working my posture there, able to get a little bit of a pump with the, the 20 pound dumbbells. And now what I'm going to do is a concentration curl. While I sit back, I, I'm really gonna flex the abs. I'm gonna scoop the belly button in toward the spine. And I'm gonna do a quick two, three. I'll do a quick, quick 12 here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I really feel a good pump there. Again, watch my arm. It's not completely locked out. I'm only down 95% of the way. One, two, three. Holding the stomach tight. Four, five, six, seven. Look at the range of motion. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Speaking of abdominals, one thing that we can do with the stability ball, most of you already know this, is some crunches. So I'll do 20 here. Two, three, four. 30 degrees of flexion, 40 degrees of extension. Five, six, seven. Hands right on the ears, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, my next move, I'm going to take the 20 pound dumbbells, hold them together and do a close grip press. That works predominantly the triceps, but the pecs get some work here as well. Hips are up and one, two, I'll do 20 here. Resting my head on the ball. Two is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. All right, next move from here is going to be pet fly. I'm pressing up through my hips, squeezing my glutes nice and tight, clenching the glutes, and 15 on the flies. One, two, good stretch. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. I'm gonna give my hands a bit of a break. I got a good pump going there. Although I have a good pump going from those presses and flies, I'm gonna 
finish off my break because my hands were just getting tired. I'm gonna take my 20 pound dumbbells, walk out on the stability ball, and do some tricep extensions. Dumbbells down. Look at my elbows pointed to the ceiling. One, two, I'll do 15 here. Three, keep in perfect form. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. I feel a good pump in my triceps. And from there, I'm going to do alternating hammer curls. Sit up nice and tall. One, one. Two, two, three, three. My hands are pronated and I bring them up neutral. Four, and then I pronate them. Four, meaning I turn my knuckles down like that. Straighten the arms. Five, so the palm faces the ball when it's down. Five, palm facing the ball now. Knuckles up. Here's six, here's seven, Seven, eight, eight, turn to neutral. See how neutral I am? Nine, neutral. Now twist. Nine, neutral. Ten, twist. Ten, I'll do one more for good luck. Eleven, eleven. Notice how I'm sitting nice and erect, really focusing on lower back strength and stability here. The lower back, the erector muscles of the lower back are working right there. I will go ahead and do another abdominal crunch. Turn to the side slightly. So you can see me crunch up 30 degrees and extend 40. Just squeeze the muscle, hold it tight. Flex it at its optimal flexion point and stretch it. 40 degrees of extension. 40 degrees here. Keep it up. Go back. Crunch it up and back. Notice how I'm flexing the cervical spine, my neck, thoracic spine, and lumbar spine, and going down. Let me do five more. One, two, three, four, Five. All right, bring it back up again. I want to switch things up. Feel, I feel like doing push up. So I'm just going to do a, a push up exercise on the ball again. All right, challenging yet again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, one more, ah, 12. Uh, hold it here, four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, from that plank position, I'm gonna take my 20 pound dumbbells and I'm going to do a lat pullover. Holding the dumbbells close together, walk it out, hands together, straight arms back. One, reach back for a stretch. Two, I'll do 10 of these. Three, four, oh man, what a stretch. Five. Seven, oh, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good job. And from there, I want to stretch out my hip flexors 
yet again by going into a traditional split on the ball, stretching out my hip flexors in the back, my hamstrings to the front. The goal here is to try to hold it and stabilize myself in balance and go deep into the stretch, relaxing a little bit at a time, lock the knee in front, beyond the ball of the toe in the back. And fight for your balance. Get that hip flexor stretched. And go deeper and deeper, deeper into the stretch, a little at a time. Let gravity take over. Exhale, relax your muscles, stretch it out a little bit more. Very good, now I'm gonna to turn to the other side. See, I'm on the ball of the foot there, and on the heel here, and I just hold it. Whew. Stabilizing with my upper body and my core, using my lower back as a stabilizer. And I go deeper and deeper deeper into the stretch, letting my body weight and gravity bring me down. This is really helping me get back into my flexible body so it becomes much more functional, much more athletic, much more useful. I'll bring it to the middle. Yet again, go down a little deeper, hold it, 